Afternoon. We are getting a look at the new plans to give Penn Station a big makeover. Officials want to renovate the transit hub and change it from the cramped structure that it is to a sweeping train hall. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett is live at Penn Station with more. NJ. That's right, Lauren. This is a major step forward for the new Penn Station, where it goes from an idea, a concept, to shovels in the ground. Now, it can't get to that until the proposals for construction and design are in. And so, yesterday, uh, in a very noisy part of Midtown, the governors of New York and New Jersey announced that they're going to begin accepting proposals to make the vision for a new Penn Station a reality. Now, this new concept is pretty amazing. It includes concrete courses and puts the actual gates to the trains all on the same level. And, you know, Lauren, there's no question that the old Penn Station is an urban embarrassment, a grimy labyrinth of corridors where people arrive in America's largest city and climb out from a hole in the ground. Many promises have been made, you know that, over two generations, but elected and civic leaders are setting in motion the process that will transform Penn Station in the years to come. Mayor Adams compared it to the building of the Empire State Building. First, Governor Kathy Hochul. Today, I'm very proud to announce a significant milestone in our progress. We are officially moving into the design phase of the new Penn Station, and we're going to start accepting proposals from architecture and engineering firms to guide the Penn Station reconstruction. This Penn Station development is crucial for us. It's our Empire State Building moment. Because no matter who we are and what we do, Transportation is at the heart of our ability to live a prosperous life. So we're talking about eight acres of public space, 18 new entrances to Penn Station, and 1,800 residential units, 540 of them, to be considered affordable housing. Urban planners are telling me that, that building a residential community in this neighborhood will keep it more cohesive. Is that actually essential to the project, the integrity of the project? Much more on how that will work. Coming up on Eyewitness News, first at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Now we're live.